glad that you're here. Thank you for coming. We're gonna do a little yoga. How does that sound? Awesome. I realize that I keep forgetting to introduce myself. So if you're new here, I'm Mary Beth. It's so nice to meet you. All right, I wanna start this morning, I wanna start with something really, really happy because I'm really happy. Are you happy? Well, if you're not feeling very happy, I know a trick. When you're not happy, if you pretend that you're really happy, sometimes it'll make you really happy. Isn't that crazy? It's kind of awesome though. So we're gonna sing a song and move our bodies and we're gonna talk all about how every single little cell in our whole bodies is happy. And if you aren't happy right now, I bet you'll be happy by the end of this song. Do you wanna try it? Awesome. So you'll need your hands. Get out your hands. Cause we're gonna tap our whole body while we sing about how happy our whole body is. Sound good? Great. I'll put on the music and you can follow along with me. Here we go. Here's a fun song that you can sing. It makes every little cell in your body ring. Pat every single body part when you hear this chorus start. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Bend your knees and chair pose, please. Every little cell is happy and well. Bend your knees and chair pose, please. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Reach up high to the sky. Every little cell is happy and well. Reach up high to the sky. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Reach for your toes and wrap down pose. Every little cell is happy and well. Reach for your toes and wrap down pose. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Here's one more. Make the lion roar. Breathe in. Roar. Here's one more. Make the lion roar. Do it again. Breathe in. Roar. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Jumping jacks will strengthen your back. Every little cell is happy and well. Jumping jacks will strengthen your back. Every little cell is happy and well. Now let's do it faster. Jumping jacks will strengthen your back. Every little cell is happy and well. Jumping jacks will strengthen your back. Every little cell is happy and well. Jumping jacks will strengthen your back. Every little cell is happy and well. Jumping jacks will strengthen your back. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. already happy but I feel really happy now we moved our bodies we tapped every cell oh my goodness it's kind of like magic Whew. but it got me a little out of breath I needed to take some big deep breaths will you take some big deep breaths with me great let's sit down can you sit crisscross applesauce and I'll get on a breath ball this will help us take some big deep breaths Here's 
how it works. When I open the ball, we'll breathe in. And when I close the ball, we'll breathe out. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And we'll take three big deep breaths with the ball. Sound good? Great. Here we go. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Wow, I love taking big deep breaths. Not only is my whole body happy now, but my breath is nice and calm. Ooh. Oh, my heart is beating really fast. Can you feel your heartbeat? Does it go thump, thump, thump? Yeah, mine too. Did you know that all the people in the whole world have a heartbeat just like yours? They do. And all the animals in the world have a heartbeat too. Did you know that the whole universe itself has a heartbeat? It does. We just can't hear it because there are so many things that are so loud. What's something that's really loud? That's a great example. Airplanes are really loud. Dogs are really loud when they bark. You know, People can be really loud too, don't you think? There are things that are so loud, and there are so many things that are so loud that they make it really hard for us to hear the heartbeat of the universe. But, you know, I think we should make that sound together. Do you want to make the sound of the heartbeat of the universe with me? Awesome! We'll start by making an O with our mouths. Can you say O? Great job! And then we'll make a yummy sound. So imagine something really yummy. Think of it now and say, mmm. Put those two sounds together. Oh, mmm. And that's the sound of ohm. And ohm is the sound of the heartbeat of the universe. So we're going to make a big, beautiful ohm that everyone will be able to hear. Except, I think we should practice. It's always a good idea to practice something. And it's an even better idea to practice it in a silly way. Will you do some silly ohms with me? Awesome. Hey, have you ever heard of a movie called Frozen? Me too, I love that movie. But if you've never seen it, the most important thing you need to know is that there is a queen, and her name is Elsa. And Elsa can use magic to make it snow. And she sings this beautiful song that goes, let it go, let it go. Except we're gonna sing, let it ohm, let it ohm. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Okay, we'll do it with our hands, like we're sending snowflakes out into the air. Okay, we'll do it two times. Take a big deep breath in and say, let it ohm. Good job. Let's do it with the other hand. Take a big deep breath in. Let it ohm. That was so silly. I love that movie. And it's fun to do things in a silly way. Okay, one more silly ohm. Let's pretend that we are in an airplane and we're going skydiving. We're gonna jump out of the airplane. Don't worry, we have a parachute. But when we jump out of the airplane, we're gonna yell, Geronimo! Except we're gonna yell, geronimo ohm Get it? Okay, put your hands over your mouth so you sound really far away. Take a big deep breath in, and say, geronimo silly ohms. Now that we've practiced, I think we're ready to make one big, beautiful ohm for everyone to hear. What do you think? 
Oh, you're right. I'm not wearing my yoga goggles. I better put them on. Put on your yoga goggles. Oh, check your pockets. I'm pretty sure you have them. There's one. And there's the other. Put them together and put them on. I love yoga goggles. They're so silly. You look great. Okay, take your yoga goggles off. Take them apart and then put them on your knees. Now we're ready to make the sound of the heartbeat of the universe. We'll take one big deep breath in and then we'll all say OM together. Ready? Breathe in. Oh. Wow. That was beautiful. I felt it in my whole body. Oh. Well, we've calmed our breath and we've calmed our bodies. What do you say we calm our brains? My brain has all these thoughts and ideas and they're jumping around and it's all confused and crazy and it's like, it's like having crazy monkeys in my head. Can you be a crazy monkey? <laughs> I want to tell those crazy monkeys, shh. And one way I can do that is with a meditation. A meditation is a nice way for us to calm our minds. We're going to use a mantra meditation. A mantra is a series of words that you say over and over and over again. And when you do that, it calms your mind and it makes you feel better. So get out your yoga goggles and we'll use our hands for this mantra meditation. So follow along with me, okay? Tap your finger and your thumb and say, peace. Now switch fingers and say, begins. Switch again. Wick and switch one more time, me. Okay, can you do that all together with me three times? Great, here we go. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. My brain is quiet. There are no more crazy monkeys. My breath is calm and my whole body is calm. Wow, and I feel really peaceful. Did you know that you can do that anytime you need it? Anytime, you find a place to sit, take three big deep breaths and then you can say, any meditation that you need. Any meditation. That's pretty amazing, don't you think? I think so. Hey, do you want to go on an adventure? Oh, I knew you'd want to go on an adventure. You're always up for an adventure, which I think is why we're such good friends. Okay, so we're going to go on an adventure to a place that is very hot and very dry. We're going to go to the desert. Do you want to go to the desert? Awesome. Okay, we're gonna use our bodies to become some of the animals that live in the desert. What do you say? Awesome. So the desert is a very dry and very hot climate. Only animals that have special adaptations, which is changes that they've made to their bodies or the way they live their lives, that make it possible for them to live in a place that is so dry and so hot. But you also have to remember that when the sun sets in the desert, it gets really cold. So these animals need to be able to survive really, really hot weather and really, really cold weather. That's why a lot of the animals that live in the desert are cold-blooded animals. Cold-blooded animals, they get their temperature from the sun. So if it's really hot outside, they're really hot. If it's really cold outside, they're really cold. But they do just fine because they can hold on to the warmth of the sun. It's pretty amazing. Now, one of these cold-blooded animals looks an awful lot like an animal that lives in the water or near the water. He has four legs 
and he has a big shell. What could it be? It's not a turtle, it's a tortoise. Can you be a tortoise? We'll sit on our bottoms and bring our feet out in front of us. Now, send your feet out wide. Bring your hands underneath your knees and then walk your feet together, hands to your feet. And then, like a tortoise, can you hide in your shell? Whoop. Poke your head out and look around. Oh no, someone's coming, hide. Poke your head out one more time. What kind of face does a tortoise make? <laughs> I don't know, but that's funny. You know, there are lots of animals that are not cold-blooded that live in the desert as well. They've just learned how to adapt. One of them is a special kind of mouse. Can you be a desert mouse? Come onto your knees. Sit on your heels. And then we'll bring our hands down beside us and bring our forehead to the floor. Like this. Great job. Another animal that is cold-blooded, that loves to lay in the sun, is kind of dangerous. Well, not all types, but some of them are. You better be careful if you're out walking in the desert and you hear a rattling sound because you might be able to see, and you'll have to stay away from, a rattlesnake. Can you be a rattlesnake? We'll come onto our bellies like a snake. Then we'll bring our hands underneath our shoulders Push the floor away and lift your head up like a snake. Now, if we're a rattlesnake, we have a rattle and we better shake it. <laughs> better beware of the rattlesnake. Great job. Now, there are lots of insects that live in the desert. And one of them is also really dangerous because he's venomous. If he stings you with his stinger, you might be in big trouble. He also has pinchers, kind of like a crab. What could it be? A scorpion. Can you be a scorpion? Come back onto your belly, but this time bring your forearms to the floor. And then, like a scorpion, you have a nice pointy tail. Now, snap your claws. Snap, 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 snap. Don't worry, you'll be nice and safe if you stay away from the scorpions. Awesome. Okay, much like a snake, there's another cold-blooded animal that likes to lay on the warm rocks in the day and then hide at night. Like a snake, he's got a tongue that he sticks out. It's a lizard. Can you be a lizard? Come onto your hands and knees. And then you're gonna step one foot forward to the outside of your hands. And then, like a lizard, reach your belly forward. Stick your tongue out to catch that fly. Great job. Let's do the other side. Bring your knees back and then step your other foot forward outside your hands. Reach your belly towards the front of your room and stick your tongue out for that fly. Great job. Now, there are lots of animals that are bigger than snakes and scorpions and mice. One of them you might hear at night, he sounds a little bit like a wolf, and he goes, ow! Looks like a dog, but it's a coyote. Can you be a coyote? We'll come onto our hands, we'll tuck our toes, and then remember, coyotes have a tail, and like a dog, wave that tail, and then send it in the air. And remember, coyotes howl. So we'll come forward and we'll howl at the moon and say, Ow! Great job. Now, out in the desert, there are lots of animals that fly overhead and they look for prey on the ground. One of these is a great big eagle. Can you be an eagle? Stand up. Bring your feet together. Then we're gonna stand on one foot. Pick our other foot up. And then we're gonna twist our legs around together. And then wind up our arms and sit in your perch like an eagle. Great job.
Can you unwind your wings and reach them out? And switch sides. So pick your other foot up, wrap your legs up, and then wind your arms up the other way. Great job. Unwind and reach your arms out like an eagle. And stand up and unwind and shake it out. Awesome. Now, there aren't very many types of plants that can grow in the desert, but one of them can get taller than the tallest trees. They go really, really tall. And just like trees, they have arms. Well, they call them arms instead of branches. And sometimes they look like this. What kind of a plant is this? It's a cactus. Can you be a cactus? Just like our tree pose, we'll stand on one leg. So pick up your foot and bring it to the inside of your other leg. Then you can reach your arms out like any kind of cactus you like. Maybe they reach up. Maybe you reach one up and one down. Maybe they both reach out in funky shapes. Stand nice and tall and strong and prickly like a cactus. And switch sides. Put that foot down, pick up your other foot and then reach your arms out like a cactus. Remember, you're a prickly cactus. Awesome. Man, there are a lot of things that live in the desert. It's kind of crazy because when you go there, it feels really empty. Incredible. These animals have figured out how to survive in a place where lots of other animals and plants can't survive. It's pretty amazing, don't you think? I think so. Well, we just did a bunch of fun poses. I want to do them again, but I think we should do them while we play a game. Do you want to play a game? Awesome. We're going to play my favorite game. We're going to play freeze dance. Are you ready for freeze dance? Awesome. Well, here's the rules one more time. I'm going to put on some music, and when the music plays, you dance. You dance however you like, for as long as the music plays, but when the music stops, you pick one of those poses and you freeze. All right, let's go do the poses one more time so you remember. You can be a tortoise. You can be a mouse. You can be a snake. You can be a scorpion. You can be a lizard. You can be a coyote. You can be an eagle. Ooh. Try to balance. And you can be a cactus. Ooh. Try not to fall over. We're trying to freeze. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready to play? Great. As long as the music is playing, you dance. But when the music stops, pick a pose and freeze. Okay, here we go.
Awesome. Here comes the music. Get ready. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Whew. I feel so much better now that we've calmed our breath. You know, I love playing freeze dance, but I think I like playing freeze dance and taking three big deep breaths afterwards. It's like a whole new way of playing because I feel so good at the end. How about you? Awesome. All right. I hate to say it, but it's time to say goodbye. I really, really hope you come back because you know what? I had so much fun. Did you have fun? Good. Because more than anything, I want you to have fun. I want you to come. I want you to move, get silly, take some big deep breaths and have lots and lots of fun. Because when we have fun, we feel good. And that's the most important thing. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye now, and we're gonna say goodbye the way yogis all over the world say goodbye. It's also my favorite way to say goodbye. Bring your hands to your heart, and on the count of three, we're all gonna say namaste. Namaste is a word in a language called Sanskrit, and it means that the light and the beautiful things inside of me they see and they love the light and the beautiful things inside of each and every one of you. Isn't that just the best way to say goodbye? I think so. So hands to your heart and on the count of three, we'll all say namaste together. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste.